everybody. It is about 7 a.m. and I am going to head off to the gym. Um, just gonna do some like tread work, some weights, all of that, and yeah, get this Sunday started. I have a lot to show you today and I'm super excited about it. Um, yeah, so let's get going. I just uh, packed up my Lululemon bag with a couple things that I might need. I need to grab my wallet because our new gym has a coffee shop and little restaurant and I'll grab a coffee on the way. And, oh, I need my headphones. I was never an over-the-air headphone person, but discovering these Bose headphones, I'm in love with them. They're so good. All right, got my headphones, got a towel, got my keys. I think we are all set. It is nine o'clock and I am home from the gym and I think everyone is still sleeping upstairs. So, my gym also has a coffee shop and I got what they call an Aztec mocha. I took a sip and coughed. There's like peppers in it. <laughs> um, it is really good though. I'm not gonna be able to finish it though. It's a little, it's like a weird mix of like way too sweet for me and spicy. You will see that there are a few little Christmas things happening, but the big transformation. I know so many of you loved the pink dining room, and I loved it too, but I have been, I now have to switch out this rug because now it doesn't match, but I have been dying to paint the dining room green, and actually before I painted it pink, Green was the first color that actually popped into mind. So I ended up doing it green and I'm really happy. Today I need to take the trim paint and a sponge brush and a couple places where my tape didn't seal. It actually did a pretty good job. There's just like these little spots here. This one I didn't seal off the tape well enough. There's just a couple spots I need to go around and fix a little bit, but that's really no problem but I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, we already talked about advent calendars, but check out this wreath. This wreath is from Target. It's their new line this year. And if I, let's see if I can do it without like creating havoc. It has lights on it. I just think it's so, so pretty. I'm really, really happy with it. I had yellow here when the walls were pink, but now I want to get some different candles. And then, if you're following me on Instagram, which you should be, I got my Christmas candle, and I picked up the Nest. If you've never smelled what they call their holiday candle, it is a little bit of pine. I mean, it literally, it literally has like every scent in it, but I got the, hold on, I have to set you down to get it out. It smells unreal. Pomegranate, orange, clove, pine, cinnamon, um, with a little bit of vanilla and amber. Like literally every holiday smell. And this is the big four wick. Like I can smell it so strongly right now. Um, I'm super excited. I think this is gonna go like in the center of the coffee table. And the packaging was beautiful. This is like a magnet. So that is the Christmas candle for this year. 
Yeah, so now the dining, but I think everything pops so nice with the green. Really, really happy with it. And then what else we did, this, oh, we also have our in-laws dog. My tree isn't gonna go up for a while. A, it's October, but also we're putting new flooring in the living room, so that's all getting measured this week. So this is the fireplace. We're gonna talk a lot more about this in a decorating video that is coming up, but this is from Pottery Barn Kids. This is from Pottery Barn Kids. I talked to you a lot about the Vickerman garland. This is one garland from Vickerman's. Like, I told you the quality is so amazing. The flocking is a mess to work with, but the quality is incredible. Getting my holiday pillow scheme. There's still a couple waiting to come from West Elm, so it's not done yet. All right. I hear music upstairs. Stephen must be awake. I'm going to go ahead and get cleaned up, and then we will catch up. So I am showered and cleaned up and now I'm just getting dinner ready for today and I'm making um, slow cooker chili. It literally is the easiest recipe. It is not fancy. It is probably not going to be earth shattering in any way. It involves a lot of cans which is not a great thing but it's simple and I need simple today because I have lots of things I want to get done. I have already browned up some 99% lean ground turkey. Um, make sure you season your turkey. I think people just like brown it and throw it in like, oh, the chili will season it. Season this with a little bit of chili powder and onion powder. I'm just gonna pour that into the pan. Not the pan, the slow cooker. And now we're just gonna add a bunch of cans. I add a 28 ounce can of crushed tomato. Now I'm going to add a 10 ounce can of Rotel chilies. I love chilies and so does Steven, so I'm gonna add another little can of the diced green chilies. I'm going to add two cans of drained and rinsed red kidney beans, two cans of tomato sauce. These are 15 ounces. I am going to add a quick seasoning packet. I'm just throwing in some chili powder mix from McCormick to give the chili a really nice texture. I add half a can of uh, refried pinto beans, or you could do black beans, whatever you wanna add. I'm just going to use about half of this can. And it won't, and it won't all break down right now, but as it heats up, it will. By no means an earth shattering recipe, but it's simple, we'll have it for lunch this week. Easy peasy. I just finished touching up the dining room. So all that trim work that I showed you that was a little like smudged, I just cleaned it all up. So it's really nice and clean around the edges, around all the moldings. And I'm really loving the color. I didn't know if I would love it, but I really like it. And this is just how it like flows with the rest of the house. Everything else is so gray. And then the living room is like a beigey gray. I just think it adds a lot to the house. And then there's this old man, Stephen left to do some interviews for um, potential Georgetown applicants because he is a Georgetown graduate. So I think he's on the hunt for daddy. You looking for daddy? Is daddy home? Daddy home. Oh, yeah, so really liking it. Oh, look how festive the mantle looks. All right, I am going to get dressed and probably go run some errands. What do you think about that, Casey? Also, watching some Louise Pentland. You guys all know how much I love her. Doing laundry. I'm telling you, the Samsung Active Wash. I love them, absolutely love them. I mean, they just sound so joyful, like they're excited to wash your clothes. We're going to go, actually gonna do a time dry. I also thought I'd show you, look at these cute, I found this one that says laundry, and then, I saw 
this one above the pantry. They're just cute signs, found them at Target, their hearth and home. I just think they're really cute. It's now like one o'clock and I had so many plans to do so many things today, but really I've done laundry, touched up some painting, worked out, made dinner because it's just a like dreary, rainy day. I do wanna show you something that came in the mail though. Uh, totally sent, just out of the goodness of her heart. Thought I'd show you Ashley Shelley's. Once again, beautiful, like nice quality cover. I love the metal corner pieces because it keeps the corners from bending. Little cute pocket. It has a zip folder with stickers in there. And then the scheme is like a dark purple teal and a light lilac. There's an inspiration board, favorite meals section, important contacts, planning overview pages, holidays, and then just a really nice lined monthly spread. I like having the lines in the boxes because it allows you to keep everything like nice and neat. And then there's a January like, um, like almost like a vision setting for the month of January. Like worried and stressed, grateful, remove your stress, happiness, word of the month or mantra. And then a notes page for the month. And then each little day, there's a time slot here. Let's see if we can see that, a little time slot, a running list, and then a to-do list for each day. It's really clean, it's really simple. Each month switches in the color scheme. But yeah, this is the 2020 planner. I also love that she has these little perforated corners so you can tear off as you go. So it's really easy to flip and mark where you're at in your planner. At the end, it's just a really, really nice planner. I love supporting um, like, especially like startups or small businesses. So if you want to check out Ashley Shelley, I'm going to leave her link down below for you so you can check her out because definitely, definitely worth it. High quality planner. Ooh, Steven just got home from Trader Joe's. He can do a grocery haul. Well, I got our fall favorite Maple Leaf cookies. They're really your fall favorite. Well, they're like 500 calories, calories for cookie, one cookie. But whatever. Um, a pumpkin mix. And some asparagus spears. Ooh, frozen asparagus? Well, we'll try it out. Ugh. We'll and what else did like. you get? Um, I got some uh, TV dinners for lunch, which I'm having one right now. What are you having? Uh, the tortellini, I think. That is a grocery haul brought to you by Steven. Well, no, 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 we already here. He loves a frozen meal. I do. And since you don't like fish, I got these, I got these fish. Ooh. I don't think I would take these to work and heat these up in the microwave because it's fish. And it's disrespectful. Yeah. So we'll have them here and I'll just have Be disrespectful them. to me. Exactly. That's a grocery haul brought to you by Steven. I am cleaned up and ready to go. Um, just wearing my North Face coat, some buffalo check shirt, and then and then some skinny cuff jeans. And you guys know how I feel about the Hunter Chelsea boots. I do not like the Hunter wellies that go the, all the way up, but these Chelsea boots are literally the best thing ever. Um, I mean, they are like my fall staple. And because it's a rainy day, these are perfect for this. I went to Home Goods and I didn't really see anything there that I loved. Um, they had some Christmas decor out and I was just looking to see if there was something like really unique that would be great for the entryway table, but I might just do it the same way I've done it every other year. And then I ran to Target because I needed candles. I don't like flameless candles. I like a real um, classic white candle. And I've had really good luck with the, they're like the made by design, like Target brand, white candles. So I got two of those. Um, because I need them for two lanterns on the entertainment center. And then, and then I also wanted to pick up this book. I'm super excited to read it. It's called Homework, um, A Memoir of My Hollywood Years by Julie Andrews and um, along with Emma Walton Hamilton, um, who probably co-wrote it with her. 
and I'm super, super excited about it. So that's all I picked up. Um, so I thought I would, <laughs> I cannot get this off. There was probably a much easier way to do this. And I most certainly picked. <sighs> and I certainly picked the most complicated because watch this. Lesson learned. I thought I would end the vlog here. We've cooked a little, I've shown you a little decorating and there are decorating videos to come, which I'm really excited about. But I thought I would end this vlog um, as we all go into the next week around um, kind of like my intentions for the week. Um, on Sundays, I like to set um, like a weekly intention. So my goal is to work out three times. Um, this week, which is going to be tricky because I'm traveling Tuesday, I'm traveling Thursday night, I'll be gone Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So there will be no video next weekend only because I will be traveling for work and not getting back until Sunday. I might film a little bit because Danielle and I will be together and we might get into some fun shopping. Um, but um, there won't be a video probably on Sunday unless I can find some time. And then... Um, that's one of my big intentions. So another big intention is to read at least an hour a day and then also make sure to carve out some time for myself. Work is very busy right now and I need to make sure that I just have like some really good balance. So that's my goal. I also thought I'd share kind of what my workout plan has been. Um, as you know, I'm gonna be training up for another half marathon. So I'm doing a lot of interval training on the treadmill. Um, along with some like really lightweight work. So uh, just so you know, if you like Google image search, like tread block workouts, they'll have very similar to Orange Theory um, treadmill workouts that I've been doing. So like it's like sprints and fast pace and then like um, a recovery pace. And I've been doing those like pretty regularly. I did one this morning. It's about 30 minutes long. And my goal each time is to get a little bit around like a three and a quarter miles done within the 30 minutes, um, which is tricky because some of the time you're walking to recover. So you really have to hustle when you're running to make sure that you hit um, three miles each time. So that's kind of what I've been doing. It's a suggestion I would make to all of you who are interested in running. I find that my best running conditioning is actually interval training. Um, it really builds your stamina and like raising your heartbeat, lowering your heartbeat. So that's what I've been doing a lot of. Um, and then like 15, 20 minutes of some light weights, shoulders, arms, and then I call it a day um, with some core exercises. But that's kind of been my workout. So my intentions this week are three workouts at least. Um, follow me over on Instagram to see if I do it. Um, three workouts this week, an hour of reading, carving out some time to really balance and um, make sure that I'm taking care of myself and my family um, in the midst of being really busy. I would love to hear if this is the first time or if you do this every week as well, what your intentions are for the week. So leave them down below and let's make it a really great week. It's a fresh start. You can either take steps towards your goal this week or complain about being further away. Take some steps forward, get a little closer to your goal and do something for yourself. In the meantime, I'm gonna end this vlog like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.